Mike with Edge on Up and in this tutorial we're going to show you the proper way to take a edge sharpness test uh, measurement. Uh, we're also going to uh, rerun test media in the ATF fixture when we're done and just very briefly show you how our test clips work. So let's start with um, Let's start with powering our unit up, and you'll notice that the ATF is in position when I towered it. When I powered it up, uh, that allows the unit to zero itself, which it does automatically upon power up every time, uh, with the test fixture in place. So uh, here's our our knife fulcrum, and we're going to flop it down right here and I'm going to make sure that it's centered with this slot in the ATF which it is and now we're going to pick up our test knife here and I'm going to do it like this you can do it like this if you choose but normally we hold on to the handle and do it just like this. Now this knife fulcrum, if you're other handed, as the case may be, can be um, over on this side as well. Or for that matter you could turn the whole works and put it up here. Uh, that's up to you. It makes no difference to the test. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to set the uh, knife edge in the knife fulcrum and then I am very slowly going to start bringing this edge down and there I'm registering numbers and there I go. Uh, the point of it is that was all done very slowly there was no chopping motion we didn't do it fast we did it as slow as we could do it and that's what will yield your most accurate answer. Okay so um, let's remove the ATF and if we want to run another test, here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to just loosen this uh, clamping nut slightly. Remove the expended test media. Uh, we have, in the ATF, we have a thrust, we have a clamping nut, a thrust bearing, and then a thrust bearing seat. Um, when we run test media, we're going to go in between the body of the ATF with the test media. We're going to go in between the body of the ATF and the bottom of that bearing seat. So here we go. So I will loosen this screw. I will pull out a sufficient amount of test media. I'll just snug this screw back down and then I'll set the test media right here and I'll slide it over until I feel it drop into the notch. Then I notice that I have no slack in the test media and that's just the way we want it. I will tighten this back up and we're ready to take another measurement. Okay, that's how that's done. Uh, let's move our test clip system into place here and I'll just show you this is very simple. Uh, we have a slot here in our test base, our test clip base. We take a test clip we slide it into the slot and center it. We set it in the center of the hole and then we do the same thing. First we better tear the unit out because we still had our old answer on there.
And there we have it. Okay, that's just as simple as it is, and thanks for tuning in. And when the music comes on, that means it's time to turn the lights in the sharpening room off.